Hello, this is Cockstar with your well-deserved answers on all your questions. Let me first treat the more intellectual questions. So, Gothefunk asks how many parrots you need to lift an elephant. I consider this as a pure mathematical problem and I had to stay at the statistical average parrot and also elephant. So, what parrot? I took the Congo grey parrot with an average weight of 400 gram and found out that he can carry more than 60 grams. For an elephant, the average weight are 4 tons. So 4,000 kilograms uh, makes uh, 4 million grams. Divided by 60 grams carrying capacity, this makes 666,667 parrots you need to lift an elephant. The mud broker asks how many peanut butter fits into a tennis ball. A tennis ball has a volume of 134 cubic centimeter. The density, so specific weight of a peanut butter is like this one, 1.52. So 134 times 1.52 makes 203.68 gram. Set says ask what essential item must you have while taking a bath? I am more a shower man, but when I take a bath it will be for relaxing and I relax best with a good book. For my preferences in soap I always take something to maintain my natural beauty and not something to build up an unnatural beauty. Jasmine Vink. Why Jasmine One species made a good remark. On my subscribers list there are no blue-haired immobiles. And no, I'm not a Bulgarian, I will explain later. It can be that I will make a bike tour through Greece and who knows, maybe we can have one or two beer together. And yes, I don't make sub for sub. All my subscribers are real. But I must also agree that some accounts might be closed now. And that some friends have subscribed with their second or backup channel too. GT loves Dexter too. I'm not a YouTube partner and I will probably never become one. Here in Bulgaria there is just me and just an European guy who are producing content. Others here are only uploading volcanic music. I guess it's commercially not interesting for you to, to negotiate with Bulgaria the conditions for uh, making a partnership possible. I can imagine that for every new country uh, in the partner program there must be a negotiation because YouTube pays money so there is an income and an income must be declarated and you have to pay taxes when you have an income. And in every country this fiscal laws or the fiscal system is different. So I think it will be earlier frozen in hell than we become a new to part. Violently Graceful asks what made you particularly interested in studying religious history? Uh, one of my multiple unfinished university studies was ethnology and I'm especially interested in the people's migration and also the cultural mix resulting from this migration. I'm interested in the influence that the Catholic Church played during these migrations and mainly the evolution of languages 
during these migrations. This leads me uh, to a remark from Okuma Okuma. Uh, my interest and knowledge stops with Luther and his uh, history also, and the War of 30 Years. I know nothing or little about Calvin and the post lutherian evolution of Christianity. I will remain in what I know best and not pretending knowing something more. Uh, if someone criticizes Islam, so let it be an ex-Muslim like Nesrin, or someone like the Orientalist or Klingshur. If someone analyzes and debunk the Bible, so let it be a specialist like it's the Superfly, or others for other denominations where they originally come from. So I prefer to support those specialists in their specialities and know whom I have to ask if I want to know something about a special topic. As a former Catholic, my role would be more debunking the contradictions between the Pope's saying, the Catechism and the Bible. To Dieters Gummik, the girl in my brother Dominic outro is my daughter. <laughs> my brain and soul intro, I made the composition of the sound and a friend of mine made some overlays in Adobe which I composed together. To La Nananas, I hope I pronounce it good because I find it sounds better than Lengnene. Okay. So he asked me to speak about the Eastern Orthodox Church. I'm very much interested to know uh, more about it, uh, but it's a hard work and it's even a double hard work because the communist regimes here had 60 years to falsify the history and to make it fit better to their ideology. What I can say for sure is that the popular knowing of the people here is obviously wrong. Uh, when it comes to the Viking video, I will detect more of those historical contradictions uh, of the Slavic connections to the Vikings. Brainiac 1056 worked for Viking museums, but knows little about the Christianization of Scandinavia. You will see this history of Christianization of Scandinavia is really very interesting and also politically important. Eightwold Things asked where comes the name Goxter from? My real name is Guy, or Guy in English, but my parents always uh, called me Gox, and nobody knows why. Three letters are too short for an internet ID, so I put the str behind my name. I prefer being called Gox or Guy, but I really hate the English pronunciation. Uh, guy. I don't like it. <laughs> and yes, it took very much time for me to open this 500 soccer accounts to have 500 subscribers. <laughs> nope. I have only this account. Uh, but I will maybe need a second one for more geopolitical subjects and video comments. I don't want to put this channel in danger because even when it's a big pleasure, so there is also a lot of work behind. The Scarlet Pookie uh, felicitated me for my outro. Thank you, and I hope my answer to Violently Graceful has also answered your question. Uh, Mark Zima liked my intro. Thank you. Now I pronounce a name without an explanation. Brian G. 1962. <laughs> he knows why. <laughs>
Okay. Uh, Atalantius looks forward for more videos. My friend, I have material for at least five years. I will ask a really interesting question. How can Brother Dominic be a practicing but non-believing monk? There are probably more of them than you can even imagine. These guys really have studied the Bible and know where are the contradictions. Maybe less for the Catholics because of the celibate, but someone with a good job who feeds his family, do you think really he will quit because he don't believe anymore? Or on real life, you can be a same good slow food adept and still work for McDonald's. Uh, or if you sell insurances and your competitor has a far better product, do you tell it to your customers? There are thousands of other examples, if you want me to go on. Uh, so why should this be otherwise in religion? Karo König and uh, Eiko15 asked me about my languages. I am Luxembourgish, and this is also my first language. It's a spoken language, and nearly no one can write it correctly. At age 6 in the first school year, we are alphabetized in German, because the language is near to German. Uh, Germans often say uh, that Luxembourg sounds like Dutch and Dutch says it sounds like German. So. In the second class at age 7 we learn French uh, as third language because it's our official national language. In the eighth class only we can choose between English, Latin or Dutch. I chose English for only one year and switched over to Dutch because I work during my studies in restaurants and the tourists we are mostly from Flanders and from the Netherlands. Until my age of 30 I had absolutely no need to speak English. I learned it only afterwards uh, by tapes, cassettes. During my long years in Africa, I learned Evondo, which is a Bantu dialect from Cameroon. Uh, my shame now that it's 15 years ago and I barely remember something because I did not have to speak it anymore. Since November 2008, I live now in Bulgaria and it took me less than 8 months to communicate, but you know, I am, yes, I am good at it. My girlfriend speaks only Bulgarian, so you can imagine what is the best way to learn a language. Uh, meanwhile, I started with Russian, and it's well developed. I also failed with some languages to whom I don't have a wire. I tried Japanese for three months, but failed. Also, Spanish is not made for me. Uh, Italian and Portuguese, I understand it well, and if I had to live there, it will be a matter of three to six months until I would be able to communicate properly. Kleenex 3000, my friend, you help me with material for a video I still haven't done. Uh, it will be in the future. Uh, my friends, if you want to know something, no, not something, everything about circumcision, subscribe to Kleenex 3000 and you will have all the informations on one channel. If it is religious or medical, there is all about circumcision. The boy from Norfolk about my tattoos. I'm really not an exhibitionist, but you're gonna discover more of them during the summertime. <laughs> uh, it's a real artwork in process, um, that's since two years now and far from being finished. 
The problem is that the artist is one of my best friends and he is solicited too much in all Europe. For the moment he is in Utrecht, Holland and then I hope he will come back here and can do some 20 hours more on my back. Then next he will leave again for two months to Copenhagen, Denmark and so on. I have to wait. Uh, so, before I can really show everything finished, it will take probably uh, several years more. Uh, but Brother Dominic has prepared an untimed tattoo video. An older question from the Stoast Horizon, which answers also an actual question from the Scarlet Pookie. Brother Dominic, he became dominant on my channel, sometimes I have the impression I can't control him anymore. I find it simply easy to do a special character for a given topic, not only for the comedy element, but also I can say more and with more conviction that I as a single person could do. If I did uh, it only as Gokster, it will be sometimes uh, contradictive. Uh, my influence for him is Don Camillo, uh, the original French-Italian with Fan Adel, and that's from the late 50s. I don't have much other ideals or, or people I, I copy, no. It's really mostly in my own head where it comes from. I have some YouTube and Facebook friends who are doing something similar. Uh, Tim Turpis from Switzerland with his character Padre Benedetto and uh, Bruder Spaghettius from the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster near Berlin, Germany. Uh, take a look if you understand German or Schweizerdeutsch in uh, Tim Turpis' case. Hairball 38. I don't speak to you until you come back with your real channel and with your new hardware. Hmm. Gaviota, my beard. Uh, it's a history of many experiments. Since I can't have an hierarchy here, I try no have one, one here. Uh, Lardo. 444, my biker brother, uh, sees my future in Hollywood. I would prefer San Fernando Valley. Tiberian Horde. I made an announcement that I'm gonna try to make a series about the tradition and the culture and so on from the gypsies. I will not forget that, but it's not easy. Uh, for many reasons. The gypsies are not a homogenic mass, but only here in Bulgaria they have four major cultures and even four different languages. I keep this project in mind, but there is no trust, no will for them to share something. 500 years of Turkish occupation and 60 years of communist oppression are in the mind of these people, so I only have to take the occasion when it's presented to me. I have made a lot of theoretical and historical researches, but that's not what I want. I want somehow borrow their eyes and look through their eyes and describing and explaining to you what I see through their eyes. Everything else will be only prejudice and, and bullshit. Here now the people who attributed to my success. Without their help I would not be at my more than 500 subscribers today. There is Johnny Versity and Tilson. The other side 180s in TV. Whitefoot Claire 1 and RTL C. The Stoast Horizon. And the question mark is for those who have the right to kick my ass because I have forgotten them for the moment. These are my friends 
supporters and missioners for Brother Dominic's future megachurch. Gallardam 70, Ogre Roman 6, Jason, Tattoo Skin 72, Deep Ashtray, Sky's the Limit, and Ditto's Comic. And my new subscribers, commenters, and voters on my last video The Norwegian Skeptic, Iron Treasure, Puchikas 9, Serious Mind, Big Vipa, Druzil 80s, Tim Smith, Watrain Wall, Sniper Werewolves, Kitrana, Pinch Music, MCRD 2001, MN Snoopable. The voting remains open until I have finished my masturbation series, but there is a tendency going to the Vikings. Anyway, I will do all of these uh, videos, but in the order you prefer. Tomorrow, finally, the next part of masturbation in religion and philosophy and art will be up. I can't wait having finished it and to go on to the topic you have chosen. Well, this was a marathon video. You know that your thumbs up are important and if something was not as clear as you wish, leave your comment down here. Tell your friends about my channel. Have a nice day, be happy and keep smiling. Ciao.